Hello Vivetalk fans, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. I'm James and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing the results of a landmark new study looking at the state of the VR industry. This study shows that the coronavirus pandemic has changed how consumers feel about VR, with 40% of consumers surveyed saying they've become more interested in VR in the wake of the pandemic. Our own research at HTC suggests that this is due to an increased appreciation of how important a bit of escapism can be for all those folk that were trapped at home throughout the outbreak. As a result of this interest, a lot of homes across the US have a lot of VR headsets in them. So the study claims that as many as one third of VR owning households contain at least two headsets. This means we're seeing either multi-user households or multi-headset use styles per owner. This also suggests that usage has changed. The study suggests that of the 13% of US households that contain a VR headset, 88% of them are using it multiple times a month, with 60% reporting more than once per week use. This means that for many users, this has become a regular part of their usage schedule with each session lasting between 30 and 45 minutes. Typical users are also not who you might expect, with 47% of users aged between 18 and 34 years of age, and as many as 47% of users aged between 35 and 54, with 60% male usage to 40% female. As someone who has spent years poring over VR usage statistics, this constitutes an extremely dramatic change. More households with a wider age range using more headsets more regularly. These stats combined have led to a change in habit patterns too. Though the majority of VR users still use their headset for gaming, other uses have become a lot more popular. 42% of users report using their headset for watching films or TV, 35% for exercise or working out, 29% using their devices for browsing the internet, and a whopping 22% of all users leveraging their devices to create music, videos, or other art. This has led to a very strong set of priorities, with 52% of users saying they wanted good image resolution, 44% saying they wanted a comfortable headset, 39% saying they wanted high quality audio, and 35% saying they wanted something that was easy to set up. This shows how far VR, the hardware, content, and market has come. It's not just for next level gaming. It's for a big, broad range of different activities and interest groups. If these kind of activities sound of interest to you, there's no better time to get involved in VR than right now. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel. Hit subscribe if you like what you've seen here today and if you'd like to see more from me in the future. And see you on the next one. Bye-bye.